friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and let's get started. And today is the stash swap hop. So let's see what I got. Okay, so let's open this mystery box. Okay. All right, this is Jackie. And it says, Jackie, I was so happy when I pulled your name. Two reasons. Number one, I finally had to push. I needed to send your stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's some things that I purchased from her. And it says, uh, I get number two, I get to see your creativity in full force. I know you're going to come up with some great projects. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Your stuff, truck, signs, three, flowers, gnomes, everything else is for the hop. All right, so, okay, awesome. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, so these flowers are mine that I purchased from her. And the truck, okay, here's another flower. And let me take my stuff out. Okay, the truck, this truck sign is mine. And the gnomes, it's from Easter. <laughs> And that's it. Three signs. Oh, she made three signs. Okay, anyway, so let's see. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, what is this? <laughs> Some kind of a hoop <laughs> and a wood shop. <laughs> Sailboat. Okay, it's got some wood dowels and wood pieces. Okay. And these little chicken frames. <laughs> okay. A little beach chair, which is really cute. Super cute. A little shovel. Oh my goodness, Melissa. <laughs> oh my gosh, a little rolling pin. Cute, a little basket with a butterfly. Ooh, I like the the fence on it. That's really cute. It's got a cute handle. Okay, okay. Little frame. Fresh, or farm fresh. This must be the receipt for the stuff she got me. And some little pots. Cute. Some of this farmhouse ribbon. And a cutting board. Oh, your grand old flag. Cute, I didn't find these. This must belong to something. Okay. And this is just a piece of foam core board. It's like the good stuff. Oh, okay, these are mine. Okay, these are mine. These, she got me these. And another little piece. A couple other little pieces. I don't know. I don't know if this came off something. Oh, a bunch of these little pieces. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six little pieces, I think. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, Melissa. For day one number one, I'm taking this little fence basket and these chickens and this ribbon and this shovel. And I do end up using the corrugated metal piece as well. So first I'm going to begin with these two chickens and two of these bamboo skewers. And I'm taking my drill and I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom part of these chickens or hens. And I'm going to add a dab of glue in each of the holes and stick the little skewers inside until it gets cool and it adheres. And once that's nice and cool and adhered, then I'm going to take some of this washi tape and I'm going to make some stripes. And so I'll add three, I think three or four of these washi tape strips. I think three, yeah, three of them to make stripes. And I'll do this to both of my little hens, just like this. And so now I'm taking three of these Waverly chalk paints, 
in the color elephant and the teak wax and truffle and just like this I painted them to make uh, like some subtle little stripes just to give the little chickens a little bit of a different kind of look kind of an interest so now I'm removing all the washi tape and it's very satisfying to see clean lines crisp lines and with my Cricut I created their names Henny and Penny and I also cut out some little eggs to put inside there so it looks like they're about to lay some eggs just so cute so now I'm going to set those aside and now I'm going to begin with the little fence basket and I'm going to remove this cute little butterfly don't really want to use it for this project and I'll just remove it and I'll set it aside for another project or maybe I'll give it to my friend Mary who loves butterflies hey Mary <laughs> so anyway I take my hammer and I take my spatula or scraper and I just tap 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 and tap 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 until it just pops right off no harming in the process and here I'm taking my little finger sander just to soften everything up and make everything nice and smooth and here I'm deciding I'm not needing the handle so I remove the handle and so now I'm going to begin to paint it and I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I'm going to use my coarse sandpaper to roughen it up a little bit because the, the painting was too perfect and now I'm going to distress it with a little bit of the Waverly antique wax and I'm just going to do a light brushing just to give it that aged look because the sanding wasn't enough I thought the sanding would be enough but it wasn't so I just keep working it till I get it looking like this and I do the whole thing inside outside all the way around underneath all of it and now I'm just taking this block of floral foam and I'm going to cut it to fit and place it inside glue it in there and some of the Spanish moss and I'm just going to tuck this around the inside perimeter and also on the top once I have that ready then I'm taking my little hens that are waiting for their little home and my bamboo scares are a little bit too long so I have to snip those off and I'm just going to add those in the floral foam like this and it's looking so cute and I had more of the little eggs cut out so I decided to use two of these clear glass stones from the Dollar Tree and I know you're thinking what what is she doing but go with it go with it this is gonna look so cute <laughs> so I'm just going to place the little Cricut uh, cut file on there and look once inside my little box it looks like there's eggs <laughs> they look like eggs because you can't see that that the fact that it's just a clear glass stone it just has that effect look at that it's perfect <laughs> so now there's eggs on the inside and eggs on the outside okay so now I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna take the corrugated galvanized piece it's like a pendant and I cut out a file that says farm fresh eggs so all I'm going to do is place this on top of this corrugated metal and I don't show it but I do end up removing the corn the top corners of this metal piece and I do actually also give it a little bit of antique wax to make it look a little bit rusted and aged and now I'm going to utilize the bottom corners of this piece to stick inside the floral foam and it fits perfectly in there so I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm going to use the little shovel and for this little shovel I created another little cut file on my Cricut and it says pooper and scooper <laughs> so yeah I mean you're gonna have you gotta have to have a little pooper scooper to clean up all the mess so now I'm gonna go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I'm just gonna very subtly add a little bit of white spots on my little shovel because yeah the pooper scooper's got to have a little bit of uh yeah stuff <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and now i'm going to take some of this farmhouse ribbon and i'm just going to make a quick little bow 
and just hot glue it to the little shovel and then just hot glue the little shovel to the little fence box. So for this DIY, I used five items. I used the fence box and the shovel and the hens and the corrugated metal piece and the farmhouse ribbon. So what do you guys think? Well, I sure hope you enjoyed my first project and like I mentioned earlier today is a stash swap hop so I'm joining in with six other very talented ladies here on YouTube and we each sent each other a box of approximately 10 items not necessarily Dollar Tree some could be thrifted just anything that's in your stash and this hop was organized by Melissa at, over at Melissa makes it DIY and again this is a hop so when you're done viewing my video please Hop on over to my description box and you'll see the link to the next participant. And you'll continue to go around the whole loop until you get back to me or whomever you started with. And once you do that, then you'll know you went through the whole hop. For DIY number two, I'm going to use two more of my items. First, I'm going to use this plastic cutting board. And so I'll go in with this Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle and paint it all up. And now I'm going to enhance it a little bit with some more of the Waverly chalk paint in the color cashew and hazelnut. And so I'm just going to, going to very lightly dry brush both of these colors on the edges of the perimeter of this cutting board because I'll be doing something else with the center. So I'm just going to mainly focus on the outside and just give it a nice light dry brushing try to help give it like a look of a like a wood look like it's really made out of wood not necessarily a plastic and I'll do this to both sides until it looks like this and now I'm taking this paper with the chickens on it and all I did was just print it off my computer I just chose a free printable and just printed it out no need to buy the scrapbooking paper and now with my fingernail I'm just going to press down where I need to cut it and so now, now that I have it marked I just go ahead and cut it out and with my matte Mod Podge I'm going to saturate the middle portion of this little plastic cutting board and now I'll just add my little chicken paper to the center on top of the Mod Podge and I'll add some more Mod Podge on the top to seal it all up and with my printer I also printed out this vegetable and chicken pot pie recipe and I'll Mod Podge this on top of my little chicken on the center. And I'll seal it all up with some more Mod Podge. And now I'll go in with some of this jute twine and I'm just going to wrap some of this jute twine around the handle of the cutting board just to give it a little bit more rustic look, a little bit more farmhouse, give it a little bit more interest. And the second item that I use for this DIY is the little mini rolling pin which I didn't show it, but I just painted the center part white. And I'm also going to add a little bit of jute twine to the two sides of the little rolling pin. And after I get that done, I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of my cutting board. And that is it. So for this project, I've used two, pro two items. I used the cutting board and the little rolling pin. And that is it. What do you guys think?
For DIY number three, I'm going to use two more of my items and I'm going to begin with my little wooden mini picture frame that's so cute. And so I'm going to start off with my drill and I'm going to drill four holes on the underneath. And since this little picture frame is actually wood, then it's easy to do. It's not a plastic, so it's easy to do. And now I'm going to fill all the holes with some of this Elmer's wood glue. And with those holes ready to go, I'm using these little, I don't know what they are. They're just like little feet to me. So I'm turning this little frame and these little feet into a little mini riser, a little square or rectangular mini riser. So I'm just going to poke these in and I'm going to use my little hammer to knock them in perfectly. And I almost forgot, I need to remove the glass that's in here. I don't need the glass. So I go ahead and flip it back over and take off the backing and remove all the glass. And then I remove the little kickstand and I'll just place this little MDF little cardboard piece, the little backing, and I'll glue it back in place because that I'll need there. So it won't be a hole. And so now once I have that done, I'm just gonna go in with some of this Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm gonna basically leave the green. I think the green is pretty and I like the natural wood of the feet, but I'm just gonna give the whole thing a nice little antique like look to it. Just to give it a, just a, that little bit of aged look. And so I'll go over the whole piece, the inside, the outside, the top, the bottom, the feet. I'll just go in the whole thing with the baby wipe and the antique wax until it looks like this. And so pretty much I'm done with this one. This one's super easy. And two more items down. For DIY number four and my last DIY of this video, I'm using five more items out of my box. I'm using these little planters. There's four in a pack, but I'm only going to use two. So I'll put two away. And I'm also going to use some of this spackle from my stash. And I'm going to apply it with my silicone spatula that I usually use for my glue. So I'll speckle this up like this and look how cute. So now I'm going to go in with some Waverly chalk paint and the color plaster. And I'm going to paint this whole thing inside, outside, all of it. And now I'll go in with some of the Waverly antique wax just to give it a little bit of a distressed look. I'll just use my little Dollar Tree chunky chippy brush and just coat it like this real light and I'll just work it on the outside the inside the underside all of it make sure it's nice and thorough even though you won't see the under the inside because I'll be filling it up with florals I still wanted it to be finished and if I add a little bit too much I can remove it with some of the baby wipe so they look like this so cute okay so now this is my little challenge item <laughs> this little chair so I could have taken the easier out and just placed something in those holes, but nah, I decided to take my uh, metal scraper, putty knife, whatever you want to call it, and my little hammer, and I am going to completely dis disassemble this little chair. So as, as cute as this little chair is, I've got big plans for it, for the wood anyway. <laughs> so to make a long story short, yes. I ended up taking this apart and it took a little while, but eventually all these little slats, which is what I wanted. I don't really want the rest of the chair. I just wanted these little slats. And so I'll pull them all off. And again, you know, I just had to work it and take my time until I got them. And I'm also using some of these square pieces from the Dollar Tree. And then this other piece, 
of wood that came in my box and this hoop that was in my box. I'm taking the my miter shears and cutting the hoop in half. And I'm also taking this sailboat kit. Mind you, I think I got way more than 10 items. I got like 14 items in my box. <laughs> but I'm going to use this little piece here. So hey, that counts. I was going to use that glue, but then I decided not to use the glue. So put that away. So now I'm going to take all these pieces and I'm going to go in with the Waverly chalk paint and the color truffle. And like that, I'm just going to paint them. And so now it's time to assemble. So now I'm taking two of the pieces that are the same size and these little blocks. And I'm going to begin building my little planter structure. It's like a garden structure that holds up flower pots. So I'm just going to keep working this and putting these little pieces together, sandwiching these little cubes with the shorter slats and then the same thing with the longer slats just to give it a little bit of interest, a little bit of height variation. And so I'll go ahead and glue these onto my little base, which is the little piece that said Farm Fresh. And I'm just gonna glue these two little towers, one on one side and one on the other. And I'll also glue the half rounds or half hoops, one on the front and one on the back. And then the little piece that came from the little sailboat, I'll place that right in the center until it looks like this, looking cute. Okay, so now I'm taking my little pots that are nice and dry and I'm going to put some glue on the very tops of my little towers and I'm just simply going to adhere the pots on top, hold it till the glue sets. And so I'll do one and I'll do the other side as well. And I'll just wait till the glue sets. And I'll also glue the two pots together just to give it more stability because these little pots will be holding some florals. Anyway, look how cute my little structure, <laughs> planter structure. So now I'm taking this little foam ball that I had on hand and I'm just going to slice it in the middle, slice it in half. And I'm going to use this for my floral foam. If it's inside these little pots perfectly. So I just add some hot glue and press it down in there. And now all I have to do is add my florals and I'm pretty much done. That is it. So for this project, I used everything else that was left in my box with the exception of the foam core board. And I think it came out super cute. What do you guys think? Well, I want to thank Melissa for putting together this hop, this stash swap hop. I really enjoyed uh, participating in it and creating for it. It was a bit of a challenge, but it was fun. And also I can't wait to watch the other videos and see what everybody else created. And so don't forget to hop on over to my description box. That way you can also continue to hop around and watch what everybody else created with their box of goodies. Lots of little goodies. And you'll be able to see who I sent my box to and what I sent her. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.